In this analysis, two data tables were used to train and validate various models which are designed to predict loan status as either default or not default using these columns as predictors. So the stages of fitting the model and evaluating the model have already been completed. In fact, the process was iterative, involving the fit and evaluation of several different model methods and selection of predictor columns until the desired diagnostics resulted. Each iteration was saved, so we can return to our model of choice, my model 3, and here in the title bar for the model summary, we have the option to export this model. We will give the resulting model file a name, like loan status prediction parametric.rds, and click Save. Alternatively, from any page of the analysis, we can view the Analytic Models panel and use the export icon which appears on the row describing the desired model. Let's say that we are also interested in My Model 2, which we will export and name Loan Status Prediction Nonparametric.rds and click Save. Why have we gone to the trouble of exporting and saving these models? Well, we can now turn our attention to the stage of the process where we predict from the model. This analysis document, though, contains only training and validation datasets. Our data with an undetermined status exists in another analysis document. This data table has nearly a half million loans, with the same data we used as predictors in our model. However, the loan status is not provided. We could go to the main menu and insert a predicted column but because no model has been created within this analysis, we would have to use this drop-down in order to select a model from a file. And we will select our Loan Status Prediction Non-Parametric Model File. When we click Open, you can see not only the file name, but a comment line which has been added automatically. We could modify this comment to include predicts status of default or not default, in addition, we can view the model method and the formula applied in that model. When we click OK, you can see the predictor columns from our training data table and one of the column names from the current data table columns does not match. However, we can manually select the current loan to value ratio from this analysis to match that column and click OK. Several new columns have resulted from the model, including the class prediction column which we could drag and drop to add to this table visualization. In fact, we might choose to right-click on this filter in order to rename the column Non-Parametric Status Prediction and adjust the properties of the table visualization such that we can read that lengthy column name. An alternative approach to applying a saved model file is to view the Analytic Models panel and use this link to import a model file. This time we will select the parametric model we saved and click Open. After a quick modification to the comment line to include predict status of default or not default and a check of the model method and formula, we can click OK. We could then use this icon to predict a loan status based upon this method and once again match the column name which differs in this data table as compared to the data table we used to fit the model. When we click OK, you can see a new class prediction column has been generated by the Tear Statistical Engine, which we will rename Parametric Status Prediction, and add to the table visualization. Even in the few rows displayed in the current table view, we can see that the status predicted by each of these models is not identical. Let's use Spotfire's visual analytics to quickly compare the predictions of these two models across all of these 440,000 loans. We will insert a pie chart make space to interact with the selectors in the legend, and color first by the non-parametric model results, then color by the parametric model results. We will need to adjust the sector size by property to reflect a unique count of loan ID values, and you can see that approximately 25% of the loans are predicted as default by both models, while nearly 70% are predicted as not default by both models. The other two sectors indicate loans where the models predicted the status differently. We could continue this visual analysis by creating details visualizations which allow us to examine the predictors contributing to these status values in an effort to determine why these models generated differing results. 
However, we will leave that as a seed of possibility which you may pursue and grow within the context of your own data analyses.